today I'm replacing the front wheel bearing on a 2010 Audi A5. Same procedure for a A4 and um, some other Audi models as well. First step, you want to remove your center cap and leave the wheel on the car. Have the car on the ground with another person in the uh, driver's seat with their foot on the brake. And use a, a 19 millimeter Allen with a breaker bar to crack your uh, axle bolt loose. So get the axle bolt loose lift it up and then uh, then you're safe to pretty much just pull the wheel off with the wheel off and the uh, axle bolt loose what you want to do is take a screwdriver and get it in here and just uh, pull the piston back a little bit on the caliper just enough so it pops over the lip on the rotor when you remove it and uh, remove the caliper altogether take two you need a 21 millimeter half inch drive socket um, to remove this you can use a breaker bar or a big half inch or a big uh, half inch uh, you know, ratchet and take the caliper off. And what I like to do is just use a caliper hook like this. You can buy it at any auto parts store to just get it up out of the way, hang it by your coil spring. So take the caliper, hang it up there. If you don't have one of these and you don't feel like going to get one, you can use a coat hanger or a zip tie or a piece of string. It doesn't matter, just get it out of the way. I have the rotor up out of the way. Um, or I'm sorry, the caliper out of the way, you want to remove the rotor now. So it's just a T30, you know, those usually come right out on these, just a little tapered screw. Just pull that bolt out and then the rotor will be rusted onto the hub if you're from around here, you know, uh, Michigan. So you want to take a hammer and just tap around the face of the rotor. Make sure you don't hit the hub, don't hit the, the rotor if you're planning on reusing it, you know, on the friction surface. Just walk around here with the hammer, hit this once the screw is loose and, um, you know, if you have to hit it kind of harder, you want to just take a, a lug nut and put it in here so it doesn't go flying off the car and, you know, smash through a whatever. So just, yeah, just hit it around the perimeter of this until it comes loose. All right, with the rotor off, what I like to do is leave this bolt in place, the axle bolt, just unscrew it until it's all the way, almost all the way out. And what I do with this is I use it to, um, to, uh, push, the, uh, to push the CV joint in and kind of hold it outwards because it wants to walk its way back into its little home so you can use this bolt to keep tension outwards so you can get to the uh, the bolts that hold the whole hub wheel bearing assembly into place so you can see you use a triple square to get those loose and I will show you the tool that I like to use for this all right to get to all of these back screws what I like to use is a 3 8 breaker bar with a um, I think it's a 12 millimeter triple square bit on the end it's nice because you don't have a, that much clearance if you leave the axle in um, between the axle and these bolts. So with this, you're able to get in there, break them all loose. And um, once they're loose, you can use a little bit of a extension and a ratchet and um, just kind of, you can get to all of them. Not, not, very, not very hard at all. This one down here, the ball joint is slightly in the way. So you might have to use about a, um, this, this back one here, you might have to use a extension. It's maybe two or three inches long just to get back a little bit further on it, but you can get those all out. So I'm gonna start working on those now, break them all loose and then spin them out with a ratchet. All right, now I have all those screws out. They weren't much of a fight. They usually come out pretty good, actually. Um, see the little breaker bar, then you can spin them out. Small ratchet, I use the, um, I have a little uh, snap-on cordless here. This, this here gets it done, so. Once those are all out, take a, screw and spin it back in about halfway and then these uh, rust real bad around here and down south you probably wouldn't have that much of an issue but you can see that this is a steel a steel wheel bearing and that pushes kind of tight into a um, uh, aluminum spindle here so they uh, they corrode very very hard so what you have to do is get the screw in there you know maybe four or five turns and um, take your air chisel with a small bit like this and uh, you get a good uh, good angle at that screw, get it in the center of it, and just air chisel it until this thing, till it, till it walks off. You may have to uh, put that, you know, pull that out and put it in a couple different positions. Make sure you have enough contact with the screw into the hub, or else you can destroy the threads, and then you'll have a hard time pulling the screw back out again. But um, yeah, make sure you have it in maybe five five turns, and then uh, if it's not moving with that. Put it up there do the same thing in every position you have to but usually just one of them 
if you have a good strong air chisel it'll just knock the whole thing out so that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that now all right now that I got that off um, it was a little bit of a fight as you can see there's a lot of corrosion in here I like to take the axle bolt and just spin it back into here while I'm cleaning the hub so I'm not cramming a bunch of you know debris into the uh, CV joint the outer CV joint that goes straight through so um, use a wire wheel like this or you can do it by hand with a you can use a file or whatever you know just just to flatten this out the best you can and uh, get in there and scrape all the uh, rust off the surface where the new one's gonna mate I like to brush some anti-seize on the aluminum or a dry graphite spray or something like that before I push it in but um, what I have here is the new wheel bearing and it um, it comes you know separate from the hub so I'm gonna have to push this apart and reuse this hub if you're doing this at home you want to see if you can find it assembled with the hub already pushed in you're not going to want to try to separate this it's kind of difficult to even even if you have a press it's kind of difficult to to get this thing apart if you don't have a real nice press tool I have a big cup that fits over this whole thing so it's a real simple task for me but um, I would genuinely uh, you know generally just recommend that you just get the assembly the hub already pressed into the bearing or get them both new and then just press it together that's that's not as difficult you know so Right now what I'm gonna do is uh, clean this hub up and uh, push these two together. Clean this surface the best I can. Put some anti-seize or dry graphite spray on this. And um, that's it. You wanna make sure you use the, when you order the wheel bearing kit, you wanna make sure it comes with a new axle bolt and the new um, wheel bearing bolts as well. They, the, the bolts come with the Loctite on them. So, um, and uh, the, you know, the paper and a lot of times it has the specs right right on it for for torquing so um yeah i'm gonna clean stuff up right now press this apart push the bearing back together and uh and i'll show you what i do next it's cleaned up i got dry graphite spray on it um you're gonna want to put this put this on torque those back bolts to 60 newton meters and then um 90 degrees um you know place them with the new bolts of course and then that large axle bolt you want to um, you want to put in uh, 200 newton meters and then 180 degree turn. So you're going to need two people for that. Just like when you broke it loose, you want to have somebody in the car with their foot on the brake. Um, if you don't have a, a, a torque wrench that shows you angle, just mark the bolt head with a uh, with a paint stick and then rotate it until the mark is you know if it put it straight up, straight down on the axle bolt. So. Um, and then on the uh, yeah the 90 degrees you can just do that with your breaker bar and uh, also I like to mark the top of those rotate them so you can see 90 degrees and you can also see where you you know where you uh, if you tighten them or not so you don't lose track of stuff so that's it pretty easy to put back together stick this back on there just kind of do the uh, opposite of what you did so thanks for watching